Hi, I'm Mike Robel from DeadCooksDinner.com, and this is how I rotisserie two chickens. Season the chicken all over with the spice rub or just salt and pepper, making sure to get some inside the cavity of the bird. Gently run your finger between the skin and the breast to loosen it, and then rub some of the spices directly onto the breast meat. Truss the birds with the length of butcher's twine. Loop the middle of the twine just above the neck, run it behind the bird to the cavity, and tie the knot tight to plump up the breast. Loop the string under the knobs of the drumsticks, tie it together, and then cross the drumstick knobs and pull the string tight to tighten them up against the body. Tuck the wings under and you will have the bird in a nice plump package. Attach the first spit fork to your spit, then run the point of the spit through the chicken. Flip the chicken over and push the spit fork deep into the legs of the chicken. Slide on the next fork and tighten it down to hold the bird steady. Add another fork. Tighten the next bird onto it. Slide on the last fork and tighten it down, and your chickens are attached to your spit. While I've been trussing the chicken, my grill has been preheating. The grill is set up for indirect high heat with my infrared rotisserie burner also set to high. Plug the point into the motor and slide the slot into the notch on the other side of the grill. Center the drip pans under the chickens and turn on the motor. Make sure everything's spinning freely and close the lid. Cook with the lid closed as much as possible until the chicken is nice and brown and the deepest part of the breast reaches a temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. This will take about an hour. Unfortunately, the sun set while we've been cooking and we're gonna to have to move inside where there's a little more light. I'm wearing welding gloves to protect my hands from the blazing hot spit. Use a pair of spring-loaded tongs to loosen the first spit fork and slide it off the spit. Next, loosen all the rest of the spit forks with the tongs and then give them a good wiggle to make sure that they're loose and the chicken is not stuck to the spit. Grab the spit, grab the last chicken with your tongs, and slide the spit out of the chickens, kind of like you're unsheathing a sword. The chicken should slide out and drop down onto the platter, but sometimes one of the forks will get hung up on the notch on the end of the spit. Work the fork a little bit with your tongs until it comes loose, and then slide the second chicken out onto the platter. Remove the twine from the chicken right away. If the skin cools down while the twine's still on, the twine will stick like glue. Grab the knot behind the legs and cut it loose. Then grab the knot in the cavity and cut it loose as well. Pull the twine and it should slide right out from the chicken. And we're done. Let the chickens rest for 15 minutes so the juices can redistribute, then carve and serve. This is Mike Robel from DadCooksDinner.com. Thank you for watching. Spit fork, spit fork, spit fork. Okay, turn it off.